prophet David Joshua, the most persecuted prophet. I remember the very day I was by your side. You said to me, Paul, do you know why I don't respond to persecution? Good morning, viewers. Good morning, and win today, tomorrow, and forever in Jesus' name. Yes, my name is Prophet Paul David, and by the grace of God, I am one of Prophet T.B. Joshua's disciples. Prophet T.B. Joshua, the man in the synagogue. Mm. It has been two years now. You left us in the body, but we know you are with us in the spirit. I want to use this precious time to appreciate my mentor, my teacher, my master, my boss, senior. Prophet TV Joshua. When you called me, you did not look at where I am coming from. You didn't even look at my weakness. God Almighty sent you, Prophet TV, to my life. God Almighty sent you to my life when I thought. There is no hope in my life. I, Prophet Paul David, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate God for sending you, Prophet Joshua, to my life. Your son, Paul David, want to use this opportunity to appreciate God Almighty from sending you to my life. Whatever I am today is only by the grace of God Almighty to you, Daddy. You took care of me as your own son. You make very sure that I have all I need for this journey. You taught me how to love. You taught me that God Almighty can use anyone. You stood by me. My mentor, Prophet C. Yeshua, even in my weaknesses. And you encouraged me to stand strong. Now, that you have gone home to meet our Father in heaven. Now, I am able to navigate life and I can stand in the name of Jesus and face the world. Daddy, Daddy, thank you, thank you. Millions of times are not enough. Thank you for allowing God Almighty to use you to change life, to change nation, and to change the world. Indeed, you have shown us that God Almighty can use anyone, no matter, no matter their background, no matter. You have always cherished to bring hope to the hopeless. By your humility and love, many today believe that God can use and change anyone. Indeed, you are an example, a good example, that the journey is not for the sweet, nor the smooth in tongue, but all appears to be by the special grace of God. Prophet TV Joshua, the most persecuted pastor, prophet, no matter what the world did to you, 
you responded with love and forgiveness. I remember the very day I was by your side. You said to me, Paul, do you know why I don't respond to persecution? He said, because I am not the one doing the work. He said to me that this work is not me. So if people say, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this, it's not mine to fight because I am not the one. But the battle belongs to God. It is my duty and my responsibility to respond with love. Judgment belongs to God. After you went home to meet our Father in heaven, many were rejoicing. <laughs> Little did they know that many prophets of Joshua has been born to this world. Now we are able to see the disciples of Prophet C.B. Joshua and our mama, my mom C, my mother, Pastor Evan Joshua. They have seen that the legacy continues. <laughs> It continues. Thank God for the life of Prophet Zebu Joshua. Doing your time on health, this health. Many try to bury you. They try, they try, they try. Little did they know that you cannot bury a seed. Because if you bury a seed, it will germinate and come out stronger. They try to bury you through persecution, propaganda, hatred. But they never knew that you are a seed. You can't bury a seed. A seed will always go back, and indeed. The more the hatred, the more you grow stronger. The more the persecution, the more you come out stronger. The more the propaganda, the more you have been known all over the world. Prophetic Joshua, my mentor, my teacher, my boss, daddy. I will end this speech by saying, We, by the grace of God, we carry on your mission. The mission of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. Your legacy will listen. It is high, your son, Prophet Paul David. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. <sighs> we will continue the mission until we meet again, Daddy. In Jesus' name. Amen.